I'm going to begin by going through the ingredients that we need for the dish. I have here about 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Oil is looking a little cloudy because I used the same spoon that I used for our ghee. And along with the oil I have about half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 6 tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter. Then I have some salt, 1 teaspoon of cumin seed powder, 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder or you can add it to your taste. One large tomato which I have finely chopped. Then I have a few green chilies again finely chopped. I have a tablespoon of uh, grated garlic and a tablespoon of grated ginger. Three sticks of cinnamon and three green cardamoms. One tablespoon of black peppercorns and one teaspoon of shahi zeera or shah zeera. And finally a tablespoon of coriander seed powder. Apart from the spices, I have 1 cup of milk and 1 cup of sliced onion. And then I have taken here 1 and a half cup of long grain basmati rice which I have thoroughly washed and soaked in some water. For this recipe, the proportion of rice and uh, meat should be in equal parts. So, um, you know, that would be the appropriate uh, ratio for this recipe but uh, in our family we like uh, meat more so I have taken here 350 grams of uh, rice and to this I am adding about 1 pound of uh, mutton keema or minced mutton all the ingredients are in let's start with the dish I am adding here 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil and 4 tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter now goes the whole garam masalas in which I have cinnamon sticks, um, green cardamoms, shahi zeera or shah zeera and black peppercorns. I'm going to fry the whole garam masalas till it turns a little fragrant. Yeah, it's done now. Now to this I'm adding sliced onion. And I'm going to fry the onion till it turns golden. Keep the heat on medium to high. And along with the onion, adding um, finely chopped green chilies. So goes finely chopped green chilies now. And to this, I'm adding about half a teaspoon of salt just to ensure that the onion is getting soft quickly. So I'm going to fry the onion till it turns light golden in color. You can see it has already got a little color but I'm going to fry it a little more. Onion is quite golden now. Now to this I'm adding ginger and garlic. And I'm going to fry the ginger and garlic till the raw aroma is gone. And by the time the ginger and garlic will be done, um, you know, the onion will get even more darker. There was a little water in the ginger and garlic uh, paste so that's why it's spluttering. So be very careful while cooking. Yes, it's almost done now. The next ingredient is the tomato or chopped tomato. Ginger and garlic is done. Now goes chopped up tomato. After adding tomato, I'll be adding all the dry spices. Red chilli powder, turmeric powder, coriander seed powder and cumin seed powder. After adding all these dry spices, I am going to cook it on low heat for about 2 minutes and by the time the tomatoes will also be a little soft and then I will add the meat or the mutton keema. Keep the heat on low otherwise um, the dry uh, spices will start burning. I have been cooking it for about 2 minutes. Now goes mutton keema. And I am going to cook it on medium heat for about 5 minutes. Keep on stirring it. Yes, it's been about 5 minutes now that I have been uh, stirring it. The next step is to let it cook on low heat for about 10 minutes. So I will bring the heat to low, cover the lid and let it cook on low heat for about 10 minutes so that the mutton keema is a little cooked up and then the further cooking will be done along with the rice. Yes, so it's well mixed now. 
I'm putting the lid and letting it cook for about 10 minutes on low heat. After 10 minutes, open the lid. You can see here, the mutton has oozed out so much of liquid. I didn't add any liquid or water while I was cooking the meat. It's just the juices of the mutton that came out and this mutton is almost cooked. Now goes rice and along with the rice I'll be adding some salt. This, is, uh, this will be the final seasoning. So goes salt now and now goes one cup of milk and about one and a half cup of water and then I'm adding two tablespoons of ghee to it. I had um, six tablespoons of ghee in the ingredient list. I added four tablespoons while cooking the meat and the remaining two tablespoons of ghee goes now. And I'm going to bring it to a boil then I'll um, bring the heat to low, cover the lid and let it cook for about 10 minutes. And the ratio of rice and liquid um, is like one part of rice and two parts of liquid. Uh, for this dish, uh, since I have already soaked the rice, I have added about two and a half cup of liquid. Since I have taken here one and a half cup of rice, um, ideally I should have taken three cups of liquid. But as I said, it's soaked rice, so it's not going to require double the quantity. So two and a half cup of liquid will do. So like one cup of milk and one and a half cup of water. As you can see, it has already started boiling. So I'm going to bring the heat to low, cover the lid and let it cook on low heat for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, open the lid. The rice is well done, nice and fluffy. It's not sticking. It's quite fluffy now and be very gentle while stirring it. Otherwise, you'll end up breaking the grains. Now, after giving it a light stir, I'm going to cover it again and let it sit like this for about 10 minutes. But this time I have already switched off the heat. After 10 minutes, open the lid. You can see here, the keema pulao is all ready. Rice grains are nice and fluffy, not sticky. It is absolutely done, ready to serve. Mutton keema pulao is ready. Since it's a meal in itself, you can enjoy this dish with some raita. Do try this very delicious pulao recipe and share your comments and your suggestions. We will meet next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Till then, bye-bye.